Yeah, Chuck, it kind of gets us to what Mike and I have been talking about. And, and, you know, we're trying to be careful about this because I don't want to criticize Desmond Ritter because I haven't seen enough of him, right? I mean, if this was three years in and we had seen a real sample space, you know, you can be a little bit more critical. It's hard for me to say he's not going to be able to do some of the things you're talking about. But then it's hard for me to say that he will be able to. And the reality is, how much does he get you excited about where this team is going to your point about the offense, right? When you start saying, Hey, the offense is going to be great. We know we run the ball. Well, I get it. Um, The defense has to improve, but you still need a dynamic dude. I mean, it's been proven. You need a guy that's just a difference maker. And the only way you find that out, like Eagles fans today, they're not worried about their quarterback. That's the last nope. thing they're worried about right now because you know the season has played out. He was the best guy in the league outside of Mahomes. And more importantly, he's a dynamic guy. Chuck, we don't know that, that about our guy. I know, right? And Carl, I'm a defensive guy in all these years. Defense wins championships? No. <laughs> no. Hey. Yeah. And if we listen, Falcon fans, unless Desmond Ritter becomes one of them, Josh Allen, Patrick Mahomes, even a Lamar Jackson, we ain't getting there. This is diff- this this NFL is different. You got to have one of those. Now my thing is, from what I see, we got a little sample size. And Mike, you might not want to hear this because I know you used to always talk about I want more, I want more. Right. Desmond Ritter's coming into this season basically as a rookie with a little bit of playing time. Yeah, I mean, in my opinion, it's because you're starting from scratch. You know, so now if it, him being a guy, and here, here's the one thing that defines what I see from Patrick Mahomes in this game and Josh Allen. is not comparing them to Desmond Ritter, but this is the kind of stuff you want to see. Patrick Mahomes, about three times in the third quarter, the Eagles actually collapsed the pocket. There were uh, Kansas City offensive linemen all on his feet. There were the, the edge guys for the Eagles got rushed. Patrick Mahomes dipped. He danced to the left. Mm-hmm. Then he took off two or three times. The average quarterback, he's going to find a way to fall. And that's the kind of plays those guys make. And they do it consistently. Desmond Ritter, I'm pulling for the cat. I mean, I'm mm-hmm. a Falcon fan. We're all in this together. But the, the most important person on this team, it ain't our tight end. Ain't going to be the running game. It ain't even the defense now. We're going to have to score points, and that quarterback for us to win a Super Bowl, he has to become a superstar at that position. And this, he can't be a game manager no more. We need a superstar, and I hope Desmond Ritter, I hope in the next year or two he can become that guy. We did the math on it uh, earlier today. Uh, in his first year, it hurts because, remember, that team was kind of really nothing. It's at uh, play yeah. ma- No playmakers, nothing really good as far as right. wide receiver. He threw the ball about 35, 40 more times than uh, Desmond got to this mm-hmm. year, and then they added pieces. Now, I guess the one thing, Chuck, that would help all that, if we get some upgrades at parts of the offensive line, then you know he'll be able to do some of those things with all the way to healthy pits, straight London. You know that's, That mm-hmm. seems like a pretty good recipe for a young man to be successful. Oh, I love Pitts. I love London. You're right. Offensive line, we already got it. We know they can run the ball. And I think from the standpoint of that young nucleus, there's something there. And, again, it starts with that quarterback. But I think the Falcons, I think they got to realize at this point, you got to be able to air the ball out, you know, Mm -hmm. Mike. And defensively, Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm going to tell you this, it helps the offense to have a good defense to practice against. So we got some work to do. They got some work to do from that standpoint. So, you know, I think, you know, we're in a tough situation. You know, everybody wants to win now. But this is Arthur Smith's third year. He's done a good job with his draft. He sees a solid guy. They got a new defensive coordinator. And they did well last year. In my opinion, they exceeded expectations. But this year, this is the third year. You in a, you in a, a conference full of suckers, man. These cats in this conference can't, in our division, I'm sorry, in our division, some, these cats are, it's a weak division. So, but again, you know, every year it changes. But I think the Falcons have the bones. Now they just got to add more bones to it.